All right, so as you can tell, we have purchased a new M1101 cargo trailer. We're going to replace out the 105A. As you can tell, this is playing in three times the speed. But this is our pickup. We got one it off of Gov Planet for $700. Uh, there was about $140 worth of fees and processing stuff that they do. If you do purchase one, make sure you print the release. We first showed up and then had to run back across the street to the Walmart to print a photo of it so we could actually pick the trailer up. Once we did that, we went back, uh, probably took about 30, 40 minutes to get all that done, and got back here to find the trailer. After that, we knew we could hook it up into a back. Um, as you can tell, they've got a lot of these trailers, a lot of military surplus, and they can go uh, anywhere from, I saw about the 700 up to 900, depending on your area. This is North Carolina, and it wasn't that far, but about an hour and a half drive from my house, so we picked this one up. As you can tell, we did find it over here. We've got the top that did come on it, it was stowed way down in it. So we ended up throwing it in the back of the truck bed and we'll show you that there in the video later. We've already got the setup for the M105 A2. So we knew that we could pull this, just the lights need to be converted over from the 24 volt system to the 12 volt system, which I'll have a video later on about that as we get into that one there. We already knew that ahead of time. This trailer is about half the weight of our existing one. It comes in right about 1400 pounds. And our other one's roughly about 27, 2800 pounds, depending on how much stuff is packed in it. So we've got this thing hooked up. We've got all of the cables and everything hooked up to make the ride home. We obviously do not have working lights, so we're just going to be careful. We've checked over the trailer before we leave out of there, and we're about to hit the road. Now, falling into the actual plan that we want to do, we've liked our trailer we had, but as you can tell here, we're wanting to do an actual pull-out bed slide with some equipment on it. We did find this images from online and we kind of worked it into what we're looking for we like some of these designs this was from a company that actually makes this particular one it's going to be a lot like this but we are making some changes ourselves of how we're going to do ours but this is the overall kind of basic design that we liked and we'll implement into ours if you do like this you can go hit them up i believe it is an expedition supply and they will custom make you one they've got a lot of other designs uh, but this is the basic layout that we have gone with and are deciding to go forth with. All right, so I figured starting off with this one now that we've picked it up, I uh, wanted to go over some of the things that we liked and disliked about the M105A2. It's been a good camera trailer. We have gotten to use it quite a bit. Uh, as long as you guys know, it is a little bit longer in length. As you can tell, the little bit extra is kind of on the back side here. It does let you store a little bit more, but this is solid steel, not aluminum. So the weight of it is almost twice the amount. Uh, some of the things that we've uh, been, these are just some of the places. We do like the fact that the table folds down and we can use it. We realized that our propane was actually on the wrong side. We really need it over here on the left side and maybe the switch is over here on the right. We don't like the big water tank as, as much as it was nice having that much water, the location of it, it really made it hard to get a lot of stuff in, but it did center that weight. The box on the front, that has worked really well for what we've done. And we've enjoyed having the top to kind of throw stuff in, but we decided on this one, we want to go ahead and build a complete enclosure. And we're going to basically bring it from all the way from the back. Pretty much same type of design here coming up using the L brackets, coming up building the same basic, but we're going to actually enclose this one on the M101. And we're going to transfer this over and then we're gonna sell this. So if any of you guys are interested, let us know. It might be a couple months so we can get everything the way we want. But um, the trailer, when we redid the axle size, I can tell you this has worked great. It tows great behind the vehicle, but a Jeep Gladiator just doesn't have enough pulling power to really make this thing good. I can get up to 73 miles an hour comfortably, not burning too much fuel, but anything beyond that, it, it really gets kind of hard. So that's one of the reasons we want to jump down. Uh, we do like having the both the battery box and the extras in here. We're going to move to a little bit bigger solar panel, put it up on top uh, with the enclosure and everything else, and kind of go from there. We've also got a pull-out bed slider. We'll show you that. We were able to find one of the pull-out bed slides locally. Uh, we had to drive about an hour and a half for $300. That's what we picked it up for and cleaned it up, and we're going to get this thrown in. And this will be where we're going to put some of our tabletop and storage. We have already pulled the top off. These are the bars that came on it and the tent. Most of these come, they are a little bit kind of outdated. They're just not going to work. You can see the little rips and stuff. Uh, that's just not going to work for what we want. We'll just sell that on local marketplace or throw in the trash if 
but no one will bite. Uh, we are going to jump ahead a little bit since I have already painted this at this point. Check out that video. Uh, but come on back. All right, and as you can see, we've gotten it home. We're about to do some pressure washing. I took off the back just to kind of get a little bit uh, better access. Just got to clean up all the nuts and bolts that you see down in here. So let's get those out. And then we'll start pressure washing. Just going to get all this dirt out, and we're going to start doing some fixes. Trying to kind of bend those out and get it going. Maybe do some patchwork. I've read, basically sand this down, do some etching primer. I've got some of that. And we'll see how this turns out. <laughs> 